Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm going to do the cut crease collab this for this month and I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Cupid palette that I got in my BoxyCharm recently and this is exclusive to BoxyCharm and I think it's a beautiful palette. I have used it and I'm going to use it for this month's cut crease. Um, I'm going to link everybody down below so you could check out their videos and let's just get into this. Oh, and I also went to Marshall's yesterday and they had a lot of BH Cosmetics brush sets. I got this for $10 because we all know BH Cosmetics is going out of business. Makeup Revolution bought out the brand and I seen these brushes and I just had to like $10. So it came with this case. It's just a simple black case and it has the BH logo logo in the, you know, inside of it. And it came with a full set of brushes and they're they're great. Um I have a large powder brush. I didn't use this yet. An angled powder brush. I did use this for bronzer and blush. I think I like it better for blush. A dense primer brush which would be perfect for putting primer on the lids an angled brow brush which is awesome this is as good as the nut um anastasia brow brush that i got in a boxy charm really fine angled brush it's very similar i really like this a large blending which i use for highlighter a small precision which I think would be great for doing like detailed work and if you have hooded eyelids a blender shader a rounded powder, which I think would be really good for setting under the eyes or even like um, contour. A fluffy blending, which would create in the crease. And duo fiber stippling, which I suppose would be good for like cream, blush, or like bronzer. So I'm going to go into the palette and go into the shade. I believe it's called Shell. I always get confused with this one right here. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. And I don't have a mirror. I'm going to use, just use this one as a mirror. But this palette is beautiful. It's just like the other Natasha Denona palettes I've used. So I'm very happy. And then I'm going to go into the shade right here and start building out my crease. Beautifully pigmented. Yeah, that was quick. And I didn't even go in with that much product and it just built up really quickly. So anyways, how's everybody doing? I'm doing good. Just trying to get ready because we're driving to Florida in I believe 12 days now. And of course the gas prices are super high right now and we're taking a, a, a like a three, what is it called? It's like a Ford pickup. It's a 350 Super Duty, takes diesel. So yeah. <laughs> But we're still excited and we're getting the hotel room for free. So it kind of makes up for it. Okay. I'm going to go with my Rachel Techniques brush. This is more like a dense blending brush. And I'm just going to go over and make sure everything's blended. Now I'm going to go into this small precision brush. And the deepest shade in the palette, which is like a kind of like a maroon cranberry. And I want to deepen up the outer V. This is such a cute palette. Like it's perfect for on the go and it does give you those um like rosy colors but it's still very like wearable. And I'm just taking it in the crease a little more. I'm not doing anything fancy today. Today is my day off of work. I need to go to the store after here get some household things trash bags kitty litter um nothing too exciting but i've been working on cleaning like my makeup area it's it was such a mess it was just so overwhelming i'd stuff in boxes like just because i you know accumulate so much stuff and i've been i'm almost done organizing for the most part and it's just a great feeling to get you know but I realize how much stuff I have. It's insane. Okay, I'm going to use my Anastasia Eye Primer. And this is the rounded shader brush. And I'm going to cut my crease. I'm not sure what... Maybe I'll 
into a half cut crease. Nothing too precise. I just kind of went, just went in. But these BH Cosmetic brushes, I'm very impressed. And for the $10 price tag, I'm not, I haven't gone on their website to see like if there's any sales in their website. I'm, I'm very curious what's going to happen with the brand. Like I know a lot of people are saying they hope Makeup Revolution um, starts using BH's formula because they have a great formula that's what's so special about the brand so I only hope they do that and they don't like totally dissolve the brand I'm gonna go in with this darker shimmer I'm just gonna use the same brush and focus this on the center of my lid I may take this palette with me to Florida because I want to take two palettes with me I'm going to take like a pinkier neutral and then just like a neutral. But I want the palettes to be small. I don't want nothing too big and bulky. So I'm going to take this one. And I was thinking about the neutral palette to be the Going Coconuts from ColourPop. And then we're going to go into the lightest shimmer. It's really bright. And put it in the center. So would you guys be interested? I haven't packed my makeup and stuff yet, but would you be interested in seeing the products I bring with me to Florida? This will be our longest like vacation trip ever that we've ever taken as a family. And it, it's always been something we discussed about doing, but we just never did it. Um, you know, it's expensive and all that stuff. So we just never did it. And we're just finally doing it, and I'm so excited. I bought my daughter's suitcase at Marshall's as well. It's a Juicy Couture. It's like marbled with um, like gold detailing. It's really cute. I think I paid like 80 bucks for it, and it's a, and it's a hard case suitcase, so it's really nice. I like getting um, luggage at you know Marshall's stores like that. And now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm going to use the angled brush, angled brow brush, and line. This is a really good angled brush. It's so thin and fine. So it like densely lines. Very much enjoy that. Definitely taking these brushes with me to Florida. Probably a, plus a few others. And then I'm going to go into this shade right here. The lightest matte and just kind of buff it a little bit. So I did get my Shein order and I filmed the try-in haul, but I, I don't know. I haven't made it live. I feel a little insecure about that video because I gained some weight. And I just didn't like the way a lot of the clothes looked on and I'm still undecided. I know you guys are nice and every everyone has been kind to me. No one has, I've never had an insult on my appearance on, on YouTube. I had it on my intellect, <laughs> but never on my appearance. But I, I'm still debating whether I wanna make that live or not. I should, cause I, you know, I put so much work into it, so I should. But I'm gonna line my eyes real quick off a of camera. This is my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. Love this, definitely bringing this with me to Florida. And just a quick basic line. And now for mascara. I'll do this on camera, I usually don't, but this is the Aether Beauty, the Big Bang Mascara. Just got this in my last BoxyCharm. And I actually like this, I think it does a good job. I like the, um, natural brush little basic brush and I feel like it builds quick it does give me separation but I feel like I get some volume and length as well I feel like I have a natural curl to my lashes so I usually don't curl my lashes I should because I know that it would make it even better I mean the more you build the more it will get clumpy but it definitely gives me volume and I would say this is more of a dry formula not super dry 
but it's not super wet either. You know what I mean? It's like right in the middle. So that will, it, it builds really quick. So if you got this mascara, oop, that kind of clumped on me. But if you got this mascara in your um, boxy charm and you weren't sure about it, I'd definitely give it a try. I think it's pretty good. Some clumping on this side, but I think it's still, I think it looks awesome. And I did get a little transfer up here, but. But that is it guys. Um, just a quick little cut crease collab video. Um, something simple, you know, easy that you could do with this palette if you got it. And you know, it's just easy every day. And I think anybody could do this and I think it looks pretty. And yeah, I'm very impressed with this palette and very happy that I got it in my boxy chair. But okay, guys, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys soon. All right, bye.